What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one I got some incredibly good news to share about what's coming to the future of Fallout 76. In case you haven't heard, E3 just recently announced that there will be human NPCs added into the game. Yeah, that's right, they're going to be coming in the Wastelanders DLC. How they're going to be introduced is they're going to be coming to Appalachia to try to rebuild the area. I knew since the get-go that they would be introduced to the game. I just didn't know how they were going to be implemented in. And well, as you can see, we finally officially got our answer. It's been some time since Vault 76 opened its door. And we all discovered that Appalachia isn't quite what it used to be. We encountered a lot of things. Overcame a lot of things. I don't think any of us expected for people to actually come back. Are you from that vault? Can you help us? We've traveled pretty far. Heard there's hope here in Appalachia. Folk rebuilding, fighting back. We'll fight too, right by your side. We've been everywhere and seen everything. And the one thing we've learned is this. You gotta claim the wasteland before it claims you. The question is, are you with us or with them? Okay, so as you can see, this will be coming fall 2019. And in case you didn't see, yes, there will be options that we can choose from with the human NPCs. Like for instance, our example with Daniel, we got the option if we had high enough perception to say something about this doesn't add up. What gives? When he asked if we were from the vault and if we could help them. Also, if we have high enough charisma, we can say, sure, we can help each other if you make it worth my while. Or we could say, of course, we're all in this together. Or we can say, do I look like a charity to you? You know, the typical fallout humor in the options that we can choose. Honestly, I, I kind of like choosing the humorous ones just to see the reactions. I am extremely excited for this DLC to hit, but this isn't what we're going to be first introduced to. They just made sure that we know human NPCs are going to be added into the game, which I already knew that they were coming. I mean, I don't see Bethesda making a game with no human NPCs. It just really didn't add up to me. I knew since the get-go that they would be introduced to the game. I just didn't know how they were going to be implemented in. And well, as you can see, we finally officially got our answer. And not to mention, what's also cool about them coming here, as you can see, different areas are going to change up. Like, check out the crashed space station, for instance. Look how it transitions into something like a settlement, like the human NPCs went here to settle down at. I think that is pretty cool. Of course, there's going to be way more than just Daniel to talk to. And also, we got a sneak peek at a new enemy type, too. I'm not exactly sure what this ugly freaking thing is, but I'm excited to face it, nonetheless. It could be another new raid boss fight, like the Scorch Beast Queen. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. But this wasn't all that was introduced to us that's coming in Fallout 76. There's also a Battle Royale mode coming to the game. And we're going to be able to get to play it starting tomorrow. It's going to be free for everyone to try out for the 10th to the 17th which that's great that means they have confidence in this game mode for players to try this out early and not to mention they're going to be able to fix up some things when they actually do release this permanently it's great that they are giving us early access to this but it seems of course it's going to have a fallout twist to the battle royale mode and we're also going to be able to claim our spot as an overseer which that's going to be pretty sweet. And check this out. You know how Battle Royale mode typically has a storm that shrinks over time to make players go against one another? Check this out. Check out Fallout's twist. As you can see, there's a bunch of flames surrounding this small, small radius. And yeah, that's the storm. The flames are the storm for Fallout 76's Battle Royale. Which this is going to be awesome, hands down. And it seems like we're going to be finding weapons around the map. So we may not exactly get the weapons that we already have have in adventure and survival mode. They may be starting us fresh, which I don't mind that. That's typically how battle royale modes go. Also something else different about Fallout's battle royale mode is that we're going to be able to become overseer which I'm excited to see how exactly that plays out. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you all this news real quick because I feel like this is just some incredible news to share. You have no idea 
how excited I got when I saw that they were adding human NPCs. I mean, I always had a feeling they were going to add it. I just didn't know when they were going to be showing it off. And I don't know. I just, I got so excited when I saw it. I can already see a whole bunch of new players coming over to this game to enjoy it. And that's great to know because I have stuck with this through all of the struggles that it has went through because I believed in Bethesda. All I had to do was just see how Elder Scrolls Online progressed. It wasn't the greatest game at first, but over time, they built it around the community, which Fallout 76, as you can see, is going to be the same scenario. This game is going to keep improving over time, and I guarantee you, by next year, this is going to be an incredibly popular game, and tons of players are going to be enjoying this. Thank goodness negativity is about to be straying away from this game. There was just so much hate about it. And the funny thing is, a lot of the players that were hating this game, I could tell barely put any time into it. I'm not saying all players that were hating on this game, didn't put any time into it. But some of the players that I was seeing were literally running around with a pipe pistol judging this game. After, you know, developers spent so much freaking time on it, and for players just to pick this game up for a few hours and just say it's trash and affect sales, man, I, I just feel like that's dirty. I feel like some of the players that did review this game didn't spend a lot of time in it. They're just sellouts and they just wanted to make some more views and they know drama sells. It's plain and simple, honestly. I'm not gonna get too deep into that. I'm getting a little into my feelings. I just got annoyed about some of the reviewers because I know for a fact they didn't spend a lot of time into the game. But yeah, I guess that's how we're wrapping up this video. Hopefully you found this news as enjoyable as I did. Once again, we're gonna be able to get a taste of what the Battle Royale mode is tomorrow. And it's going to last all the way until the 17th, which I think that is great news. It shows they have confidence in what they're releasing. And also they'll be able to work out the bugs and all that that is involved into it. So it has a cleaner release. Very smart of them to do this. Anyways, I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time watching and listening. Until next time, take it easy.